in this unit, we have been studying exponents. And one thing that we want to know about exponents is the expanded rule. Now, if we have an example, let's say, for instance, x over y. And this whole fraction is raised to the m power. So what the expanded rule is saying is that I can transfer or simplify this being x to the m over y to the m. This gives us, I am distributing whatever is on the outside of the parentheses. Remember this x right here has a exponent of one, an imaginary one, and we are going to be multiplying those numbers together. That was in the expanded rule. So if I had a problem that was just the opposite, x to the m over y to the m, I could simplify it by just keeping my bases and then wrapping an entire parentheses around it over m. So you might see a bunch of letters out here. Let's get some practice because you might feel that I'm not quite getting this. Let's actually do something. So here we go. Let's go ahead and bring out our first set of examples. All right. The first example, we see that we have 9 to the fourth power times 10 to the fourth power. Now, by having the exact same powers, all I need to do is combine 9 times 10, and I can raise the entire thing to the fourth power. This would give us 90 to the fourth power. Now, next, we have different bases, but to the same power. Just like in the example below, I can go ahead and keep my fraction, raise the whole entire fraction to the third power. If I'd like to single simplify it just a little bit more, I could be like, okay, 3 to the third power and 2 to the third power and give me a simplified answer. But we just need to rewrite each expression as a single power. This is a double power. We have two powers here. We want to write it where we just have one power. Now let's look at the next one below. We have a negative 5 raised to the sixth power times negative 7 raised to the sixth power. They're both to the sixth power, so I can combine negative 5 times a negative 7, which gives us a positive 35, and then I'm going to keep that to the sixth power. Pretty easy, eh? All right, let's practice just a little bit more. I'm going to go take these back. I'm going to erase... And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring my next set out. Here we go. So using the expanded rule, I could see this is the same thing as saying 12 to the third power times six to the third power. But since I want to have a single power, I can combine what's in the middle. 12 times six is 72, and it would be 72 to the third power. Coming over here, we see that my bases are different, but my power is the same. So I'm going to keep my power the same on the outside of the parentheses. And then I keep my bases of 6 over 2. Now, 6 over 2 can be simplified. And so 6 over 2 is 3, all raised to the second power. Now, I'm going to expand this just to check my work. I could see that 6 squared is equal to 36. 2 squared is equal to 4. And 4 goes into 36 9 times. Now, 3 squared is equal to 9. So these two match up. Our final example is 6 to the 4th power over 12 to the 4th power all over are all raised to 2. 
the second power. So can I simplify my fraction just like I simplified my fraction here? Absolutely. And 6 over 12 is 1 over 2. So that's 1 to the 4th power over 2 to the 4th power, all raised to the 2nd power. Now I will look at it and simplify it even more by multiplying the 2 and the 4 together. That's 1 to the 8th power and 2 to the 8th power. Well, 1 to the 8th power is just 1, and I can keep it as 2 to the 8th power, or I can find out that 2 to the 8th power, and just leave it just as that is my final answer. Mm -hmm.